Hi everyone, in this tutorial, I'll show what is image in MATLAB, how to read or import an image, and how to improve the image contrast, then how to save or export the image. What is image in MATLAB? How it is stored in MATLAB? MATLAB stores an image as a two-dimensional matrix. Each element of the matrix corresponds to a single pixel in the displayed image. Pixel derived from picture elements and usually denote a single dot on a computer display. For example, this image composed of 291 rows and 240 columns of different colored dots. It would be stored in MATLAB as a 291 by 240 matrix. Now let's jump into the MATLAB environment. Here I am in my MATLAB environment. First, we read an image into the workspace using the built-in function imread. Let's see the sample image which is included in the MATLAB toolbox named pout.tif. It is the image of a young girl. So i equal to imread pout.tif. Here tif means the image format is tag image file. Check how Check how the imread function stores the image data in the workspace. So on the right panel, you see the variable name is i and it's a 291 by 240 array and the max value or max intensity is 224 and the minimum intensity is 74. You can also check that out using the host command host i. It returns you the name of the variable, the size. 291 by 240 and it's about 70,000 bytes and the class. Display the image using the imshow function. Figure imshow i so we can display the image. The image is low contrast. Let's improve the contrast. Before that, look at the distribution of image pixel intensities. To look at the distribution of intensities, Create a histogram by calling a function called imhist. So, figure imhist i. So, this is the distribution of the intensities. Notice how the histogram indicates that the intensity range lies between approximately 75 to 150. They are clustered in a small region. The range does not go over that the range does not cover the potential range of 0 to 255. The range is missing the high values as well as the low values. That's why the image contrast is bad. To improve the image contrast, we have spread the intensity values over the full range of the image from 0 to 255. So there is a function called histogram equalization or histech function. Let's call that i2 equal to stack of i. Now call the imhist function again to look at the histogram of the new image. Figure imhist i2. So if you compare the two histograms, you can see that the histogram of this i2 is more spread out over the entire range than the histogram of the previous image. Now let's display the improved image. Figure im show im show i2. So we see that this image is way better than the previous image with the high contrast. Now, how to save or write this adjusted image to a dix file? There is a function called imwrite. So imwrite plus the variable name i2 and the file name, let's say pow2.png. You can, you can put the extension whatever format you like, like jpeg or tif and enter. Now, if you look at the left panel, so the image is saved as a PNG format. Now, check the contents of the newly written file. 
using the function inf info. Name info, then pass the image name pow2.png enter so it returns the information of this file the format the size and so on to save your work and use it later i recommend you to use the editor so you go up here new script and save this script let's say tutorial one and save it now you can write the code in this script and to compile the code you hit the run button i already write a code for you the m file let's double click on it and divide it into subsections to run each subsection you select that section and hit the run section and for the first section you notice here i write clear clear to clear the workspace close all to close the all windows and the display images and clc to clean the command window so let's select this and hit this run button now you notice here the workspace is clear and the command window is also clean now if you hit this button run in advance so you run this cell and move to the next cell so run this cell and move to the next cell now to import the image so we select the second section and hit this button so the image is imported and to display again to hit this button so we can display the low contrast image and also to check the data we can use the host command host i so hit this button so we can display the data type and the data type and the size and the variable name then let's look at the histogram by running this cell in haste so run this section so we can see the intensities are clustered in a small interval or region now to expect this out to 0 to 255 we run the next section uh, for this his tag so select that section and run this so we expect the intensity over 0 to 255 now let's display the new image by running this section uh, i2 so run this so we get the uh, low con high contrast image now to save this high contrast image run the next section where we use the imwrite function and pass the i2 and then pass the name of the file png file and run this so it's already saved then uh, to check the information about this saved image you run this section where we use the imp info function so run this cell finally i write a code here to display both images low contrast and high contrast together with their intensity distribution so let's run this cell so let's run this cell or section so you notice here we displayed both the images low contrast and high contrast and their corresponding intensity distribution that's all for now i hope you enjoy the tutorial thanks everyone see you in the next section Thank you.